Hello everyone, it's my pleasure to introduce our work in the Web Conference 2021 uh, Autotable Draw Network for Automatic Learning on Relational Databases. My name is Nzo Bai from Peking University, and this, is, uh, this work is produced during my internship in Alibaba Group. Uh, in general, this paper studies the supervised learning on relational databases. Uh, so why are we doing this? First, a large number of practical machine learning based tasks are built on multiple tabular data in real world service. Uh, for example, in Alibaba Group, we store all traded data and related information in a relational database, uh, database platform. So, relational databases are one of the standard data formats for the input of machine learning solutions. For general learning on uh, tabular data. Relational databases consist of uh, multiple tables and a schema. Uh, each table consists of rows and columns. Rows are tuples of tables, and columns, as known as fields and attributes, uh, are atomic features. Each column has its own type, like numerical, categorical, uh, and time step, and so forth. The schema describes the table's attributes and their drawn-ball relation. Some attributes share the same domain across tables, which make corresponding uh, columns drawn-ball, and we consider it as drawn-ball relations. A main table contains a special column, namely the label column, which is the target of supervised learning. So, the relational databases, consisting of multiple tables and a schema, provide a standard data format of various uh, machine learning tasks, and we study a general learning framework on this data format. Uh, the main challenge of learning on relational databases is that multiple tables involve a complex uh, schema. As we notice that the mapping or cardinality of uh, drawn-ball relation can be one-to-one -one uh, one to many and many to many. And one tuple can be extended with the table's information by drawnable relations recursively. So, how to fill the information from related table is uh, the main challenge. The second challenge is that if we design a task specific neural network for a dataset, it is hard to transfer across various datasets and different schema. Besides, according to the No Free Lunch Serum, uh, serum there is no universal model for all tasks and datasets. So we need automatic learning to make our framework outperform on different tasks and datasets. Uh, the traditional way, which is very common in industrial deployment, uses classical machine learning solution plus expert systems. The expert extracts the information from other tables and concatenate with the main table. Uh, we can join the table for, for the one-to-one -one, uh, relation directly, but we need to aggregate some tables for the one-to-many relations. Uh, finally, we send the expanded main table as the input of the uh, classical machine learning model like uh, SVM and GPT. Uh, this is one of the related works as rule-based feature engineering plus classical machine learning model. And we also present other related works in our paper. However, as we know that none of them can do automatic deployment for various datasets, but our solution uh, not only can achieve uh, automatic deployment for various datasets and schema, but also achieve best performance uh, over most of datasets. Uh, so how can we do that? Our basic idea is uh, simple and straightforward. Uh, we consider the relational databases as a hypergraph, and the vertices are drawnable attributes, and the hyper edges are tuples of tables. Then, we build a graph neural network on the heterogeneous hypergraph, uh, which samples and aggregates the vertices and uh, hyper edges on n-hop subgraphs as a receptive field. 
Uh, third, in order to deploy automatically across different uh, datasets and avoid the no free lunch dilemma, we use uh, random architecture search to select optimal aggregators and prone redundant paths in the network. Uh, here we present ATGNet Auto Table Drawn Network, a, net, a framework for automatic learning on relational databases. First, we take a relational database uh, as the input. Uh, second, we take uh, some data pre-processing, including some automatic feature engineering and uh, index building. Uh, next, we build a hypergraph logically, uh, where vertices are uh, joinable attributes and hyper edges are tables of tables. And then we build a graph neural network on this hypergraph and launch multiple uh, training instance uh, of ATGNet with random architecture search, where each instance has different architecture. Finally, we chose the best architecture as the final model of ATGNet. Uh, now let's take a look at each step. Uh, the input of our model are multiple tables and a schema. The schema describes the table's name, uh, column's name, the column's type, and the joinable relations among columns. And that's all. Here we present the JSON file of the uh, schema uh, we use in our code. Uh, second, we do some automatic feature engineering and uh, index building pipeline. Uh, the full pipeline we use is like this. We split multiple categorical features uh, for satisfying the first norm form uh, of database, which means that uh, tables attributes are atomic. Uh, then we pre-process uh, categorical features by remapping ID, uh, pre-process time features, uh, numerical features, and do some global feature normalization. All pre-process uh, must be done for all tables, and we implement it on Alibaba's big table uh, platform. Uh, then we consider the relational database as a hypergraph, where the vertices are joinable attributes and the hyper edges are tables of table. For example, the user ID is a uh, joinable attribute. Because it's shown in, real, in review table, in user table, in uh, friends table, also the business ID is also uh, another joinable attribute. Assume that we uh, only have two tables, the review table and the user table. There are four tables in review table, uh, one, two, three, four, and uh, there are two tables in the user table, one, two. Uh, so there are two kinds of joinable attributes, business ID uh, from one, to 3 and user ID from 1 to 2. Uh, the joinable attributes constitutes, uh, constitute the vertices of the hypergraph, and its uh, hyper edges connects multiple uh, vertexes. Uh, note that the hyper edges connect to, with more than one vertex. Uh, that's why we call it hyper edges instead of normal edges. So one tuple contains uh, some joinable relations and it connects with them. Uh, this is the way we build the hypergraph. So uh, if we induce those rules to the Hohen hypergraph, uh, we can draw a schema of the hypergraph. On the right is the joinable attributes as vertices, and on the left part is the tuples of table as uh, hyper edges. Uh, next, we build auto table draw network according to the hypergraph. We build the model as the message passing graph neural network way, uh, which aggregates the vertices and the hyper edges recursively. For example, uh, for uh, this tuple, one, one tuple here in review table, it has two neighbor vertices, namely the business ID 1 and the user ID 1. Uh, the, the, the business ID 1 has no other neighbor edges except the table itself, except uh, the tuple itself. So it gives empty uh, in the next layer. Uh, but the user ID 1 has three, uh, has three neighbor edges, uh, two from review tables and one from user tables. So we need to aggregate them from these two tables. 
The extended processes are the same as the message passing your network in JNS, including the message function, the aggregate function, and the update function. And for each new extended tuple, we continue to extend the neighbor until L layers. Uh, then we have a full two-layer auto table draw network on this uh, hypergraph. Uh, here on the right, we uh, show the full architecture of the auto table draw network. Uh, the square uh, means the message function, like here. Uh, the aggregation circle is uh, like here, the small, uh, the small purple circle, and the yellow circle uh, refer to here. So this is the full two-layer. Uh, ATG net architecture on this data set. Note that the architecture are built automatically according to the schema without manual intervention. Uh, with GNN on the hypergraph, we can establish the network automatically for any database. However, we notice that the full two layer auto table draw net usually performs pores on uh, various data sets because of the no free launch dilemma. Uh, actually, uh, HGNet expands the receptive fields as GNN recursively, bringing exponential growth of architecture scale. Uh, redundant architectures and uh, parameters are prone to overfit, so we use a uh, random architecture search to prone uh, redundant passes and uh, select optimal uh, aggregators in HGNet. Here on the left side, we chose one aggregator from min, uh, max, count 3, count 5 for uh, aggregating multiple embeddings from one table. On the right side, uh, we prone some architecture passes randomly by removing some passes from one table to another. Uh, finally, multiple instances of ATGNet uh, with uh, random neural architecture search are launched. And we keep architecture with the lowest loss uh, on validation set as the final solution. Uh, we notice that the simple random architecture search can evaluate uh, overfitting and uh, no free launch dilemma. The left result is the full two layer ATG net, which gives the uh, EUC score 73. Versus the right is the model after architecture search, which gives a UC score 75. Uh, and we can see that many passes are prone and uh, optimal aggregators are selected. We conduct extensive experiments on uh, four tasks, uh, eight various schema, and uh, 19 sub datasets with respect to uh, citing. Uh, prediction, uh, review, classification, recommendation, and the task blind challenge. Uh, th these are four tasks. Uh, there, uh, there are uh, 8.1 tables per data set and uh, uh, 45 raw attributes per data set. Uh, for all uh, 19 sub data sets, our method achieves the uh, uh, state of the art results on 11 sub data sets, which means that we surpass other solutions by more than one percentage improvement. And our uh, method is competitive with the current SOTA solution on six sub data sets, uh, which the relative improvement is within plus or minus one percentage. And we fill on two sub data sets with one percentage behind. Uh, finally, we present the ablation study and the convergence, uh, convergence curve uh, of the learning process. As we notice that the feature engineering, uh, multiple tables, and architecture search gave corresponding improvement for the whole framework. In summary, our solution uh, combining the multiple tabular data and the graph neural network and using architecture search uh, not only achieves the automatic deployment for arbitrary schema without ma uh, manual intervention, but also achieves the best uh, performance over most of data sets. Uh, here is the end of my talk. Uh, thank you very much for your listening. Thank you very much.